So as I have already mentioned in the previous section that in a fact sheet application, you would have to search for a particular term within your entire database and try to find the contextual information or relative information. So that can be only possible if you're using SPHANA as a backend because it will be very fast to go through the entire data of ERP as data are stored in memory. So that means that fact sheet application can only run on SAP HANA database. So let's remove this any database and try to bring your HANA database only when you're trying to run fact sheet application in the scenario. One more component we have is we have an additional layer of web dispatcher. So this web dispatcher is something which is coming out as well. Now in the back end, you have a search connector. So your application can directly talk to your HANA database and saying, okay, I need to search about this particular keywords. Just find me anything related to that within your data. So it can be a purchase order, can be a sales order, just find me. And then I will get all the data related to that as a OData service and try to pass it to my application. So the previous steps are pretty much same. What we have is the additional layer of web dispatcher. So we will understand, okay, why this web dispatcher is coming to picture. But regarding the database, we have to be pretty fast. So we are having HANA database. And plus the search connector is additionally placed to take all the request of search and programmatically you are basically programming the search connector to search the entire database and find any relevant information about any particular field or keyword which people search. So those are directly passed to the application. Now let's try to understand about this web dispatcher, why this web dispatcher is required here. Now what you will see here is our application which is having an additional capability of search through the entire database and give you the result is talking to a new server here which is the back-end server and it is also talking to the front-end server so we have two servers to which our application actually is talking now when we have this two server which we can simplify the diagram for now and say okay this is server one this is server two and both of the servers will have different url or they will have different IP address to reach to. So for example, let's try to say that for now that server one is having urls www.url1.com and the server two is having www.ul2.com. So now the application need to be talking to server one. For example, if the server one is the gateway system, then it is basically hosted in the gateway system and it communicates to the gateway system and try to get the data and it basically talks to server one for any OData request. It's trying to actually access the server one, which hosts the BSP application. And this BSP application is going to go into the browser, which loads the application. And also it talks if it needs any data to the server one. In, in case of server one can provide any of the OData based transaction capability application. And uh, for that reason, it talks to server one. Now for any search related item, it has to talk to server two because the server two has the search connector and uh, it has to pass the keyword and say, okay, give me all the search result related to this keyword. So it has to talk to the server two also. Now what happens is our application is running on server one. So the host name which is for example here the host name here which is www.url1.com would be same for example in my browser it will be www.url1 slash something 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 slash time card so this is the application i have when it talks to server one that is okay but when it's trying to talk to different server which are having different host name then it is a problem the browser treats that as a different origin issue and sometimes it also can block those requests for example if my application is hosted in server one which is trying to communicate and get some data from server two then the application can block those requests that can happen so what we do here we try to bring a new server in between which is what we are calling as a 
Web Dispatcher. Web Dispatcher is pretty common in internet world. It can be SAP's Web Dispatcher or there are multiple different types of Web Dispatcher available. But what we do here is we map. Now what we say that there is no URL 1, URL 2 anymore. What I will ask my server here, which is the Web Dispatcher that give me the O data, then it goes to server 1 and give me the search result, then it goes to server 2. And internally in the Web Dispatcher, I have to match that, okay, the search and the transaction both are mapped to the server 1 IP address and the server 2 IP address. So this is how a mapping is done inside your Web Dispatcher. And uh, while the requests come back to uh, your application, then the application go through the server again. And then it has to understand that, okay, what is the web browser or web application from the client side who is asking for that. So then you have to read the mapping in reverse order. So this is also commonly referred as reverse proxy when implemented with Web Dispatcher. So these are the keywords, reverse proxy or Web Dispatcher or server mapping. These are all done in this Web Dispatcher, which maintains this records of what are all the servers in the backend and where you can reach if you're trying to search, if you're trying to do a transactional application or you're trying to do some operation which are transaction in nature. So this is all done in the Web Dispatcher. So therefore in the application, we have this new layer of Web Dispatcher. Okay, so this is how the fact sheet application architecture look like. Now let's move to the next application type which is the analytics and KPI application. Now, one of the thing which you might have noticed is the more the operation happens on the backend, which is HANA database, the faster result you're going to get in your application, which is Fury application, the front end. So again, in the analytical and KPI application, we would be having only HANA as a database. So you cannot use other database apart from HANA database. If you're trying to work with or trying to use a analytical application. So let's catch up in the next section to understand the architecture of your analytical and KPI based application.